Kia ora team, my name's Ben and today we're looking at core pulmonale. So core means cardiac or heart, pulmonale, pulmonary means lungs. So what this is, is it's a right-sided heart failure due to pulmonary hypertension. So a respiratory lung disorder causing right-sided heart failure. So common causes of this would be a chronic respiratory disease like COPD, emphysema, or chronic pulmonary emboli. What these are going to cause is hypertension in our pulmonary circulation. So let's draw it out and see how it works. So let's start again at our right atria is going to receive our blood from the body via the superior and inferior vena cava. It'll take it down into the right ventricle, and then it'll come out to our pulmonary arteries and into our lungs, which then will bring it back by the pulmonary vein into the left side of the heart, left atrium, left ventricle, and then into the aorta to take it blood back to the body. All right, so where does it go wrong? If we have a respiratory problem, and we've got decreased ventilation around our alveoli, our small air sacs, then we're going to have hypoxia, decreased oxygen. So in response to this, the blood vessels going to the area with decreased ventilation will vasoconstrict. So they're going to get smaller because they're going to want to avoid a VQ mismatch. If we've got decreased ventilation, we're going to decrease the perfusion to those alveoli. The problem is, if this is in a chronic respiratory disease and these decreased areas of ventilation are widespread within the lung, then we're going to get widespread vasoconstriction. And if we have widespread vasoconstriction, it's going to increase the resistance to blood flowing through that area. So we're going to get pulmonary hypertension. So pulmonary hypertension is going to make it harder to force blood out of the right side of the heart. To compensate this, the right side of the heart is going to have to work harder. Problem is, if we work harder, then our muscles grow. If our heart grows, then the size of the chamber is going to decrease. Because as the size of the right ventricle gets bigger, it allows less space for blood to come in. If less space for blood to come in, means less preload. If we have less preload, then we've got less blood to eject out of the heart to feed our lungs. So this is right-sided heart failure due to a respiratory issue, pulmonary hypertension. Remember, we had two types of right-sided heart failure. Either we had systolic, which was a problem contracting, or diastolic, which is a problem with relaxing and filling. So this would be an example of diastolic heart failure, because the chamber walls get so thick that they can't expand out and relax enough to fill with blood. So what are the symptoms going to be? The normal respiratory symptoms, but now we're going to have those cardiac symptoms on top of it. So remember, if the blood is backlogging back into the right side, the ventricle, the atrium, and back into the vena cava, then we're going to end up with jugular venous distension, ascites, and peripheral edema. Or pulmonale.